So from August 2009, the idea was that Britain's 54,000 junior doctors would now work an average of 48 hours a week. But we've spoken to junior doctors from all corners of the country who say that the problem of exhausting hours isn't over. And as the General Medical Council warned in a report just last month, junior doctors are still working up to 100 hours in a single week. So I've asked two of them to let us follow just how their hours, which they've been scheduled to work, take their toll. First, I've come up to Glasgow to see surgical registrar Tom Berry, who's been timetabled to work for the next 10 days straight. Even just the first seven days in a row is going to be about 75 hours, and by the 10th day it'll be about 106 hours, I think. If you do what I'm about to do, that's going to build up a, a debt of fatigue. I know that I've prescribed a medication that was the wrong medication to give a patient and I left and it was only because the nurse saw it and phoned me and asked me if that was really what I wanted to do. I thought, no, that's, that's, that's wrong. No, I, don't, I definitely don't want to give that drug to that patient. That, will, that won't only just not help, that could potentially make them extremely ill. 